Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I have got a special deal today. Um, often I am um, sent links uh, to review a movie they want me to talk about or read a book. And one came across my desk that in, it was actually kind of interesting. It was post-World War II in Indonesia about a young Dutch guy who goes over to uh, fight the Japanese, but then it's uh, 1946 um, is what he initially joined. And in 46, he goes over to, oh, it's kind of a mix of uh, try to get the colony back together. It was a very interesting and well done film. It gets released this Friday. So they sent me a message and said, hey, how would you like to interview the main actor? I go, yeah, that's great. Sure. Why not? Um, it's on Zoom. I'm going to try to basically import the window for the Zoom call onto this. I don't know how it's going to work. So it may work and it may not. Um, we'll see how it goes, but it should be interesting. Uh, his name is uh, Martin Lakemeyer, and uh, he started out his acting career in a, in a small film. Um, Oh, winter, uh, winter wartime. He was a Dutch resistance kid helping a British pilot out, um, as a young teenager. I think he was about 14 or 15 when he made it. Now he's in his twenties. Um, I just, I, I have an interest in the film. It's a, uh, it's pretty interesting because it's based off of a true, not fictional character, uh, a captain named the Turk and the Turk um his his real life character was given car blotch by the dutch government and he basically would walk into a village find uh, dissidents and uh, march them up to the table and shoot them point blank um this character johan that uh martin plays was a part of this group i mean it was almost uh, gosh it's horrible when you think about it that's it's war atrocities and I don't think, uh, and it's all based off real stuff, so I'm not sure the Dutch government is really digging this movie, um, bringing forth what they basically uh, approved to try to stop the killings, um, not the killings, but the attacks against the uh, Dutch soldiers and the colonists that were there. So it was sort of a prelude to Vietnam in, in certain ways you can see. Uh, young kids go over there and they're getting uh, ambushed and whacked left and right. But in this this guy's case, the character kind of grows from this 19 year old kid all the way up into um, battle hardened soldier who is um, now tasked with rounding up dissonance and shooting them. So when he he quits in a ferocious way and gets back to Holland. Well, there's no job uh, as promised if you volunteered for the service. Um, they don't have the uh, laws protecting them like we do if you leave and go to the war. So he came back to no job and um, a lot of uh, PTSD from his time over there. And um, I'll just let you watch the movie. It's in subtitles, but after five minutes, you don't even see the subtitles and uh it's a fantastic film. It's well done. Period wise, incredible um, for what they had. And I can show you some some pictures. So period wise, all the gear and everything that they had, it was uh, it was a pretty incredible deal. Here you see a shot of him using uh, M1 Grands. There he is uh, driving one of the leaders. Um, pretty neat deal so if you hang on i apologize um we'll see how this goes no promises and if it doesn't then i'll just shut down the broadcast but i do want to say tonight i've got jeremy span and for those of you who don't know jeremy span he is just one incredible guy we're going to have him uh on the show as well um jeremy and i go way back he is probably one of the funniest guys i know and one of the hardest working Marines um, you've ever met or had the chance to meet. So when you get a chance to um, 
hang out tonight if you're around at 7 p.m. Come join me because this guy literally came to us years ago and said, it's unsat what the Marine Corps is doing to our wounded guys in terms of not getting uh, money because of sequestration um, for the wounded guys to attend one of the wounded um, uh, events and team shirts and the whole nine yards. So we ended up helping um, work with Jeremy and Jeremy on his own came up with the Cowtown Warrior Ball and is probably one of the w most well-run um, organizations out there. And he staffed it with um, Marines, Army, a uh, whole host of people. And because of that, it's, it's, it's a well-run organization. It's kind of on its own and the wheels are turning and they're doing great things for our vets. So to go from an idea to an actual working concept, um, successful working concept, you'll get to hear more about that tonight. So we're getting into, I am supposed to be on with them now. Let me see. It says, please wait. The host will let you in. I will send them a message and let them know that I am actually ready. And... That we are here. Online and ready. So you might get to see a little bit behind the scenes in terms of how something like this goes. You get an invitation and it says click on this Zoom link. Um, we'll see if Martin is just sitting in his uh, t-shirt drinking coffee out there in California or what's going on. I don't know. It's just kind of exciting. But see, I can go in here and I can add his deal to the stream. Okay, they're going to be with me in a minute. I just got a message. <laughs> and if you guys have any questions, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if... Uh, I'll be able to, to take questions because I only have 15 minutes with the actor. And this guy, if you look up uh, Martin's information, he is a, a big up and coming actor in Europe. So it's kind of a neat deal. It was um, sort of a last minute deal. So I, Apologize for not giving notice. A, wasn't sure if it was going to uh, happen. And B, didn't know how I'd work it. Let's see how this is going to work. So you got me. We'll add to the stream when they join us. In the meantime, uh, if you guys have any questions while I'm sitting here, feel free to ask. I am always about taking questions and helping out because it, it makes it kind of fun. Um, it's been busy. Some, some people have asked about uh, the schoolhouse and teaching. So I am a teacher. Um, I still wait for the phone call for them to say, uh, oh, wait a minute. We have something, guys. And we have something. Here we go. Join with computer audio. Martin, can I'm doing fantastic. Can you guys hear me? Awesome. Martin, how are you? It is. Mitch Taco. <laughs> well, you know, Mitch, Mitch Taco Bell. Uh hold hold on a second. Let me do this. If you give me one second. Um Oh, okay. Um, let me say that again. So, um, I'm actually bringing Martin in through StreamYard. So, you give me permission to record. Is it all good? Okay. Okay, fantastic. Martin, it's a, it's a pleasure meeting you. 
you, I got to tell you, first off, you did a great job um, on the film. I really enjoyed it as a Marine. Oh, you, you can't see me. Let's do this. Um, uh, shoot. Do you know why? I think it's because I'm recording through another deal. Let me uh, turn off. Let me turn off StreamYard and uh, and I'll go ahead and record with you on Zoom. Okay, give me one second. I'm sorry. Well, I I'm trying, but I think the StreamYard's using my camera, so I'm kind of new at this. Let me. Let me stop the camera for me and pick up with you. It says, failed to start the camera. Please select another camera settings. Sorry, guys. Start my camera. Yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, yeah, we truly are. You know what? Um... Well, I guess, you know what, I could text you a picture of what I look like. How about that? I'm an, I'm an old dude. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it like this. If you don't mind, I'll tell you what, because I can't get the camera to, um, to work on my end, but I could tell you, my name is Mitch Bell. I, uh, I go by taco. I'm a retired Marine Lieutenant Colonel. Um, I spent 29 years in the Marine Corps. I've done tours in Afghanistan and Iraq as a ground officer. Um, I was sent a link to your film. I get a lot of these and, and some of them you just, you're like, yeah, that's interesting. But yours in particular, uh, as somebody that served over in Okinawa, Japan, I traveled around a lot in the Pacific and that's kind of a theater that is near and dear to all Marines. So you are your film is set in the Pacific and it really sparked uh, something in me to, to want to watch this. And some of the things that we watch for is how well you all portray a soldier. And I got to say that uh, I know you never served. You did a great job, Martin. You really did. Well, as a, um, we have a lot of friends. One of the guys, one of my friends is Dale Dye in Hollywood. He's a Marine that served in Vietnam and he does uh, the technical advising for Band of Brothers, um, Saving Private Ryan. When you watch those films, you see Dale Dye. He's got the gray hair and he kind of talks like this, you know. So uh, they put all their actors through a boot camp. Did you guys have to go through a boot camp prior to filming? Uh, exercises. Right. Right. Um, sure, sure. And did you have guys, did you all have folks, um, hold on one second. I'm going to have to end the, my broadcast. I'm going to just do zoom. Hold on one second. Here we go. Now.